let's see. So the the pill itself is this, right? It has. Let me pull up uh, the type over here. So this is the, the the type of a pill. There's the ivory pill, which is a separate thing, and then there's pills that you could boot from. Um, and they have you know the tag pill. They have a name that is just going to get printed out, and then they have three lists of events. They have the boot events, they have a list of kernel events, and then they have potentially some user space events. For the simplest thing, you can just say, ignore kernel events, user space events, which don't have any of those. That's the kind of thing where you put in um, like extra desks that need to be installed. Those go in user space events. Kernel OVA, I forget where it goes in, in there. But if you're not doing any of that, you can ignore them. But, but they are just events that are going to get run one after the other. So you can certainly add them in here and there'd be no problem. Um, the, there are separate lists for, for a few reasons. Number one, the runtime will put some of its own events in between. So for example, after boot OVA, it will inject, um, where is it? Let's see. Uh, it is not this file. Is OVA actually the plural of OVA? Maybe? I'm not sure, actually. Probably. Not uh, like they use those words every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. OVAM in general is, is using the runtime to mean an event, but like a, a fairly raw form of, of an event. Okay, uh, not few. yet uh, committed. Okay, here. Like, not uh, fact, right? Right. Oh, yeah, I've got to get rid of this. Make sure this still works after doing this. Oops. Uh, actually, it does What's work. Going on? I've confused okay. myself. Okay. Uh, I just backed out the changes that I just made right now and opened it. Oh. I, I, I had commented this out because I thought it might have been a problem, but then I used git checkout to revert that, but didn't update that in Vim, and so it was confused. Mm. Okay, so the way that, that, that this gets run in the king is we have this peer pill parse that um, takes the pill, checks and see what, what is it. Is it an ivory pill? You can't boot from an ivory pill. Is it anything other than pill as, as, as that first tag? If not, mm -hmm. we don't recognize that. Um, otherwise, we are going to parse out uh, the, yeah, the, the name of the pill which would be baby in this case, or solid, or whatever. Um, and then the three lists of events. And then we check and see, is the name an atom? And you know we say what kind of thing we're, that we're parsing, which you'd see at, uh, or this is not a the beginning one, this is the beginning one. Um, you'd see, yeah, like parsing baby pill mm -hmm. is coming from right there. Um, and then this that then also says, yeah, if you, in in some circumstances, you can replace the the, the file system ones. I, I think it's like dash a or something that you might mess with those events. But what I came here to to, to see is is that after peer pill parse, which gets you the the peer itself, um, we add a few events in between uh, the boot and the and the kernel. Um, those events are verb, setting the verbosity to no by default, but if you use dash v, then it sets to yes. Um, it does whack, which seeds it with entropy. That's the, 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 the first one that makes it not the same as every other ship that's been booted. Whom? The magician's wands whack. I'm not familiar. Uh, but yeah, so, so then whom is... Uh, where you tell it what's your pat p, and then blip. Uh, blip is null. Uh, so there's for some reason a null, or wait, a null wire. So you're sending a arvo wire. Uh, I don't know what blip means. Uh, blip is send buck, but like it's. It's, oh. it's it's literally zero. It's yeah. Um, 
So we're creating a wire that looks like this, basically. I, I think it's that is the wire. Yeah, is that how you start Arpo, I guess? Um, is the kernel? It's before the, I don't know. Yeah, so were and wire, where did those come from? These here are this. Let's see, because each of these is um, prepending to, to that list, right? NC creates a cell. So we're saying okay. take, take, take this wire and the move that we just created, make a cell out of that with okay. the existing list. So that mm -hmm. prepends it. Uh, do the same thing, same thing, same thing. Then we get to here, and now we're doing the same kind of thing, except that what we're, what we're prepending is WIR, it looks like. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it acts as though this wire would be a different one than with this wire. It appears to actually be the same, so we probably could just change it. Um, but where, like, we, we where probably should get rid of it. W Y R. Where where did I get it from? Oh, that, that yeah. yeah. So I was about to look up. Is we probably oh. okay? It looks like it got passed in. Okay, 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 okay. So this guessing by the name, this is almost certainly. Um, it's a kernel boot event. Yeah, it's it's the kernel boot event that says what version we're at. The the wired gotcha. one, um, like W I R D, sorry W Y R D, um, and so that yeah that gets handled the same as the rest of these except we don't construct it here. We took it as an as an argument. Um, that's the so main we're thing. We're talking about this. In, with respect to the three lists, right? In the so there's a baby dot home. Exactly. So, so so there's various other events that might get added in various places, and solid will have its own list, and brass will have its own list, and if it's a multi pill, it's gonna have its own list, um, and the king might add some of its own, but a pill at its core is just three lists of events that are gonna get run in that order, maybe with some other events spliced in. Uh, I believe that we require that the bootova are actually the first ones and that they uh, all get run in a row. It's actually even fancier than in a row, that they all get run at once. Because the f the first, well, we'll, 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 we'll see that in, in a moment, like how that happens. Okay, so if some of those events are not spliced in, um, what what happens? Like, for instance, if, if we're missing the who, or any. Um, if you don't put in a whom, then I guess you're Zod. Because it'll just default to the bunt, I assume. Mm. And so you'll just be zero. And and you're, if, if you don't put in entropy, I assume the entropy will just be zero. Maybe there's an assert, maybe mm -hmm. there's not, that your entropy is non-zero. But you know, it'll just start out at zero. Which, you know, there's your deterministic yeah, mode if you want. It's, it's a, yeah, I was going to say, it's a, that's a valid entropy. Yep. Okay. Yep, right. chosen by fair so die roll. I was just wondering if there are any actual dependencies on those spliced events. Um, I mean, I, I don't think so. Higher level functionality, like yeah, having, like um, uh, do you know to to have a ship other than Zod, then yes. Uh, but I but I don't think anything really breaks it. Uh, like breaks if you don't have that. Uh, okay. But it would be worth playing There's around with that at, at, at some point, right? Like the the what I like what I would love to, to communicate is that all this stuff can be played around with. If you can get around the like some of the rough edges, and if you can get a, a, a small something like this, then you can just start playing with stuff, see what happens. Yeah, yeah. this is this is a lot of fun. That's yeah. why I said this is a great thing to start streaming because we're we're trying yeah. to build it from scratch now. Yeah, no, this you're absolutely correct. Yeah, and I'm 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 glad you guys are around right now. But also the the time that I usually do this is, you know, is like now when nobody is online because it's usually well, late late at night, which means it's late, only it Australians. Is. And yeah. uh, weekends or whatever. Past, this is way past my bedtime, and yeah, I'm, me too. This yeah. can be fun. This is fun. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how long we last. Okay. So, right. So that's what a pill is, and everything else is building up to that. Um, and in particular, there's only two things in here: eon and then a core. Um, 
Eon is just, so first of all, there's nothing up my sleeve, right? Everything here uh, is defined so in here. Boot over. Yeah, it's the first event, and then there's a second event. And there's only two events in, in this pill. Um, so the we, we, we knock out the standard library, right? We, we use we Tisgar Sig to say there's nothing else in our subject, and then we're going to define everything from scratch. Um, okay. And um, I don't know if we should start with Eon or Core. Uh, we should probably start with Eon because it's the first one. Start with Core? Okay. I, I don't know. It, it, Core is like way more familiar. Yeah, and I yeah, I can start with the young. Why not? Because it's the first event. Sure. Okay. Yeah. We'll we'll, we'll start with the young. So uh, there's a comment that I should have up. Uh, I deleted the comments here because I don't know. I probably should have them up, but because uh, I stole this from Arbo.hun, right? This is all Joe's code, basically, um, that I just simplified and extracted. Um, And the, the version of Eon that's in here is a little bit more complicated, but not that, that different. So, um, it is, so, the rule basically, so, so there's this concept of a life cycle formula that, like, when we say that your state is a pure function of your event log, um, we, we actually mean that in an even more literal way than we normally assume, which we, we normally think of it as, okay, well, your state is, you, you can run through all the events up to here, and then you run the next event, and then you run the next event, and then you run the next event, and the life cycle formula in our mind is, you have a state, you get a new event, that gives you a new state. That's not technically the life cycle formula. Technically, the life cycle formula is this, which is, uh, you know, it's, I mean, you, you could write that as, uh, this basically, right? It's um, you actually receive all your events at once in theory, right? And so you start with essentially no subject other than your events, and you take the first event and use that to evaluate. Like, and, 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 and run that against the subject of all your later events. That's the, 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 the formal way we think about it. We, we don't think about it as going one at a time. And so, um, that's what this is intended to be used in, right? So, if you look at the, the simpler version of code here, which is very similar, um, First of all, there's a couple of runes we don't use that often. Um, also, this bun thing is kind of weird. You're the whole state of your computer into the function every every time. No, every no, time not not it. not your state. There, there's no concept of, of state here, really. There, you you pass your your entire event log into the yeah. first event in the log, basically. Or to to put it another way, you take your entire event log and you run it against this knock formula. Like, as in, that event log is the subject, right. and this, this not formula is, is the formula. Um, and part of our work is, is, is going to be to get from that to something that you can feed in events one at a time in a useful way. Mm -hmm. um, so cool. So, where are we at? So, uh, are, are you familiar with Zaptiz, like Unary Zaptiz? To, to generate knock formulas. Isn't that compile? Or am I... Yeah, it's it's compile to knock, right? So, yeah. Zaptiz of 7 wow. is 1, 7, right? Because 1 is the, uh, you know, is constant, right? But, Dot would be 0, 1. That's done at the, that's done at the um, interpreter level, right? Um, uh, it, it's just in the Hoon compiler. It, yeah, the, 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 what's the, the interpreter doesn't work. You haven't defined that. a compiler, have you? Uh, well, so that's that's you're just in a full uh, blown fake ship, Nick. Right, he, right. Here I'm. In I'm in a full blown fake ship. Yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. we use that to, to to generate the pill. So 
Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Understood. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Okay. Understood. Once you're inside this pill, you can't compile anything. You don't have who. You don't have you any jets. You don't have anything. But you still have to compile it. Okay, yeah. Of course. Uh, you have to who on your ship. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah but the, the, the thing that you're compiling masks it out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, that's important to keep in mind. Right. So, so for example, yeah, so, so, so you can put anything in there and it'll give you, you know, knock eight is tis loss basically. We say, okay, put 55 on and then run constant 66 or run increment of the thing we just tis lost on. Right, knock four is increment. Zero two is the thing it happened, right? So um, so we're using that here to, to generate this formula. Um, this is a small enough formula, you, you could just hard code the whole thing, but it's clear to, to see it this way. Um, and, uh, and so now the idea is, we're gonna write this as though our subject is uh, two items an Arvo and an Epic, which is going to be the list of all of our events, or at the very least all our events so far, you can think about the way. Um, and in practice, that's going to be um, the, uh, we don't have it up anymore, but the, all of the, the first, the, the boot of OVA events, like the, that first set of events will definitely all be passed into this. Uh, I think in practice it, it passes in as many as as it's trying to play in the beginning. Um, and so th th then th we yeah, kind of sort of quote this, we say, okay, produce the knock formula that you would get from make a loop, what pat is, you know, like what sig, but dumber, right? We're just checking to see if it's an atom. If, if ep so epic, we expect to be a list. Um, if it's an atom, then that means that the list is done. Presumably it was a null at the end. If it wasn't, oh well. But, um, right, so if it's an atom, we're done, we just produce our current state. If it's not an atom, then that means we have a head and a tail. And so we recurse, setting the tail to, you know, setting epic to the tail of epic, you know, so we move on to the next, event and here we say okay now set the state of arvo to be the result of sort of running the event um and so running the event is this nine two ten six zero three zero two um that says basically take the core that's in axis two so we're running against this subject. So axis two is Arvo. We're saying take the core that's in there, edit its subject. Um, or it's not edit its subject. It's but it's so it's edit the core um, at axis six, which is the sample. So presumably this is a gate, basically. Um, mm -hmm. A, uh, put into its sample, like re replace its sample with what we have at zero three. Zero three is lus, is, you know, is, is this, so that's the event, hep.epic is you know, the current event we're looking at. So replace the sample with that. Um, I actually said this slightly backwards. The, this zero two is, is the one that, that means refer to Arvo edit it to, to put in the event. And then the what the knock nine does is it says, invoke the arm that's at two, which for gates, you're always gonna be at two because you only have one arm. And so two is the is the battery. It's the whole battery, but you only have one battery, so it's right there. If you have core with multiple things, then that'll be something deeper. Um, so it, I found it helpful to look at, you know, what happens if you call decrement. Um, in knock, um, and it gets to something that looks pretty similar. Yeah. Right. So we do two steps. That's actually a, a little bit misleading, right? So calling decrement is doing two things. It's generating the gate and then calling the gate. We we have the gate here, so we're not doing the first part. So what I'll do is separate those and say, okay, if 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 we have D right here. 
um, then, and then we call decrement, sorry, and then we call D. So the, the pulling step has already happened, is, is, is all I'm doing. I'm, I'm factoring that out and saying, uh, for, for some reason, this compiles to, to a tislas, so knock 8 is tislas, so it's saying basically put what's in axis 2 on top of here again. doesn't make a big difference, but then you get to here and things start to look really familiar. So that's 9 to 10. Some of this is a little bit um, like extra. It doesn't really need to be there, but, but, but we can we can read it, right? So, so we're saying take the, the second item because de decrement is a gate. So we're taking what, what's at access to, which is the battery. So that, that's the formula for, for decrement. We're, we're going to be calling that out of the core that comes from the rest of this. That's a knock 10, which is edit, which means we're editing the sample, the sample because it's access 6. What we're putting in the sample should just be 155. Uh, what we actually do here is is tisgar lus because we tis lus something on it. So it doesn't make a difference here because it's a constant, but it's doing that to make sure that your um, your axes and stuff work out uh, if you're referring to stuff in your subject. But it's doing the same thing, and then that that zero two is is because that's where d is in our in our subject. So. I don't know if, if, if we want to like go deep into understanding what exactly is happening there, but you can see it's the same thing. We're just calling a function. Okay. So that's your state machine. Right. So, so what this loop is saying is just give me, you know, I, I expect my, my subject to be two things. A, an Arvo core. We're calling it Arvo. We're calling it a core. All we actually care that it is is that it's a gate because we're going to call it as a gate over and over on every event. And that's all it's doing. Yep. Um, and so... Okay. And so that's the, 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 the first event, which means the second event... So the, 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 the rule from that lifecycle formula is that we take the first event and, and run it... Uh, you, uh, run it is the formula against the subject of all the later events, right? And so the first event is this. It's sort of setting it up so that the second event can uh, is, is the actual gate, right? Is the actual sort of Argo core. And so that's what core is. And we can move on to that it once, you know, once we're once ready. Um, so basically, when this gets run, uh, like this is Arvo, and if you have you know m m more, whoa, what did I do? Uh, if you have more events here, then that's epic, right? These are what are oh. going to end up getting filled in. That's kind of a weird like visualization, but what I mean is that. This is going to get run, run against a subject of everything else you have. Okay. And so we we need to make sure that the, so the, the first thing here is a gate. Is it safe to say that the interpreter runs the lifecycle formula? Yes. Yes, that's okay. that's pretty much just exactly what it what it needs to do. And okay. and you know, as a sneak peek. This right here is how you the life cycle formula. run the, yeah. the life cycle, how you write that in Rust. Okay. There, there's the, uh, right, two, two, zero, yeah. right, two, zero, three, zero, two, basically. Yeah. Um, cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, so does that make sense? Should, should yeah. we want to see what the core looks like? Yeah. Okay. So, core, we just tis faz on this whole thing, right? Not neither of these, like Eon doesn't care that I mean, you, you can do you can define these in any order. It doesn't matter. They don't interact with each other. Um, and what it needs to be is, is a gate. So so we define various things, but ultimately it's a gate. Um, 
it's a gate that takes in events, which events are always of this form. It's a date and then an ovum, um, which looks like a card. Um, well, it's a card plus a wire. Um, and then all it's going to do is um, it calls poke uh, in this core. So we're kind of backing into what it actually does. But from, from the perspective of, of, of Eon, what's important is that it's, it's, a, uh, um, it's a gate. Now, this gate does not emit effects, right? It calls poke and only takes the, the tail of it. An interpreter actually is going to want to see those effects, but as far as the formal state's concerned, those effects aren't real, right? As far as the formal state's concerned, you, you, you go through event after event and, and I mean, what, what even are effects? It's, it's just all happening at once. Um, and so, formally, this is, this is what ARVA looks like. In practice, because we do care about the effects, we, and there's a comment about this as well, um, in, in the real one on the right, um, in practice, what happens is um, we uh, we create a core that has these four arms, and the runtime is going to go ahead and and interact with that core directly. Just just oops. Okay, uh, and and just. It, it, it's just going to you know, pull those arms, call those functions directly. Um, but it's important that this gate exists because during the boot process, this actually literally does get run. And so that definitely has to exist. And also, you know, you, you should in theory be able to have a, a, uh, an interpreter that, that doesn't care about effects and that just runs this. Um, you, you can imagine having like an audit mode where it's like, oh yeah, I need to just run through a, a big long list of uh, events. I'm not. I don't care about effects because I'm replaying them, um, and maybe it's a whole different interpreter or whatever. And, anyways, I mean, yeah, hmm. yeah. So uh, this gate calls poke, um, but this is in a lot of ways what we think of as the as the main interface that you're really using. Um, and there's a couple of uh, versions of that in the real Arvo. Um, this is like the simplest one because this is the, the first one the Arvo drops into and then it later upgrades to the real one once it gets that sequence of... Actually, that's maybe an answer to your earlier question. Um, oh, uh, uh, hey, Charlie. This is uh, Matt Levan and, and um, Mopful Winrocks Amadeo. The, the, the two guys earlier in the chat here, I don't know if you can see that on Twitch, but they're the, the ones here. And, in Gather Town, um, you're welcome to uh, drop by if you want. I think I can drop a link in there. Here we are. Um, or you can hang on Twitch. Um, let's see. Um, right, so the Arvo core. Um, right, sorry, so. This this core exists for a, a brief period of time in, in the real version, and what it's doing is waiting for those events we saw earlier. Verb, whack for entropy, what for, um, uh, I don't remember what what is. Oh, what is, I, I believe that, let's just compile some stuff, I don't. Yeah, it, I don't remember seeing yeah. what in the C code, but whom we saw and word we saw. Yeah. yeah. What I do is usually used for if you want to um, like upgrade yourself. So maybe there's a way to upgrade yourself in this. But regardless, that, that's not part of the normal upgrade process. Uh, I'm guessing that, that Brass uses it. Um, like the, the, because the Brass pill tries to start with as little as possible and then immediately compile itself. So my guess is that's, that's what gets used for what. But... Um, this keeps on going until like setting the various things as we get them right. It sets our verbosity level, sets our entropy, sets who we are, makes sure that we don't get called twice. Um, actually, yeah, it it is not default to Zod. It looks like it looks like th these are all um, units. 
well, maybe not verbosity, but you don't have to do verbosity, but the other ones are units. Um, and then at the end of each poke, we say, uh, we, we call molt, which is going to say basically, if we, if we have all the state we need, oh, what apparently gets used also for, like, for installing the veins and stuff, which in, in a solid pill are already being installed, but in brass they're not. So we, at, at the end of every event, we check and see, do we know who we are? Do we know what our entropy is? Do we know what version we're at? So it does require that version. Do, do, do we know, I don't know what fat is. And then, uh, do we have a lull? Do we have a Zeus? We don't seem to require veins, I think. Um, and if all of that's right. true, yeah, I, I think that does make sense. Um, if, if all of that's true, then we're going to go ahead and, you know, check our version and molt into a higher one. Probably this one, maybe? Uh, like, copy of, of this, you know, load, peak, poke, wish. Um, uh, um, load, peak, poke, wish, like, core. Yeah, like the, the Arvo formal core, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's like a little hint at what's happening there. The clearer way to see it is here, basically. And, um, we tend to put these comments, well, it added its own GitHub Copilot comments. Uh, but like the locations of these, um, of these arms in the battery, are important because we're just going to hard code the, those into the runtime. Uh, what is? Or no, we said poke is twenty-three, and wish is ten. Um, those are determined like at, at, like normal in Hoon, which is um, you take like based on the hashes of the names, and then they go in mug order. Like, because, like, they make a map out of it, approximately. Um, and so, it's just important that you not add other items to this core or rename the arms. You could rename them as long as they happen to stay in the same order. Um, you, you can move the order around there, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's the name and number of, of the arms that matters. Okay. Um, yeah. So what a, a, a practical interpreter will do is it'll just call poke directly because poke is going to give you new copy of your state, but it'll also give you your list of effects and you can parse those. And that's basically it. The only thing that okay. we didn't explicitly cover is these types, which are pretty standard types, and they're all like all the names here like are defined right here. Um, yeah. I don't know if any of those are unfamiliar, but yeah. Okay. And so that's, yeah, that's what and a bill so is. so 